example four. Think about functions of the form f of x equals xn, where n is a positive integer. It's contained in the natural numbers. We distinguish the difference between when n is odd and when n is even. So let's look at some examples for when n is odd. So n is odd would be like x, or maybe x cubed, or x to the fifth. So x, we know what x looks like. It's just do 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 do, just like that. x cubed, it blows out pretty quickly. x to the fifth, it blows out even faster, right? By the time it makes it to two, it's at two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two height. So by the time x to the fifth has an input of two, it's getting an output of thirty-two. So it blows out really fast, really really fast. Let's compare some even ones. Say we've got x squared. Well, we know what that one looks like. Just looks like a parabola. X to the fourth. Well, like a parabola, but it grows even faster, right? By the time we get to positive two, instead of just being at four, we're at sixteen. So it grows really fast. Not quite as fast as x to the fifth, but faster than x cubed. And as we go to the other side, since negative two squared is Positive four, negative two to the fourth is positive four times positive four, or positive sixteen. So as long as we're even, we're going to cancel out those negatives, and that's the idea that we see right here. So look, when we're even, we go off in the same direction. If we were to do this for x to the sixth, it'd be the same thing, but growing even faster. We'd just be growing even faster. So what we're seeing here is when n is odd. So n odd means that the The ends of graph go in opposite directions. So the ends of the graph go opposite directions if n is odd. But if n is even, the ends go in same direction. So that's the major difference between these. In many ways, they're very similar, right? The higher the n, the faster we've got this growth rate. But depending on if we're odd or if we're even, depend changes whether or not the two ends will point in the same direction. If it's even, they're both pointing up as long as there isn't a negative in front. And if it's odd, one of them is going to be pointing down. The first one's going to be pointing down as long as there's not a negative in front, because a negative raised to an odd number remains a negative. So n is odd. If n is odd, we have opposite directions. If n is even, we have same direction. All right, great. So that finishes up for the examples. I hope you've got a good idea of the various functions out there. There's a lot of functions out there, but at this point, you probably got a reasonable understanding of what they're going. And just the more you continue to do math, functions are just going to make more and more sense. Just pay attention to what you're doing and go, oh yeah, I've seen this guy before, or oh, I haven't seen this guy before. Pay attention to what he looks like, and then the next time you see something like that one, you'll be able to apply that information and have a better idea of how to draw that curve. All right. I will see you at educator.com later. Bye.